No Mimo. Do you want to oh. go back to us? I don't know. Oh. I'm asking, that was a question. We're live. Hey. Oh. Hi. <laughs> bum, bum. That is the question. Beardy bowl. I don't think anybody will notice with that being there. I'm not here voluntarily, so I'm not part of this musical shenanigans. <laughs> We've been doing uh, a cappella. We're the next. <laughs> We're the next group. We're going to be. We're just practicing for our Christmas number one. <laughs> what? You'll be like some kind of new, like critical Noel. No. I, I see what you did there. I think. Yeah. Um, hi guys. How's it? Good evening, everybody. Noel. Welcome to the one and only Infinite Monkey Tales. We're here to entertain you. Actually, can we you just entertain us? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to level up a character. Are you which not I've entertained? <laughs> yeah. uh, no. No. Yeah, let's do movie oh, quotes. They're much better than Andy's Spotify playlist collection. Ooh. It's not wrong. Hey, Leo. Um. I am guys. trying to do my character. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Can we go back that, and start that, again? Wait a minute, that, that was a really, <laughs> this is a really shit <laughs> intro, isn't We're all it? waiting for Ange, we're it all is. waiting yeah. for Ange. I'm Ange. busy! Ange is doing a character. Right, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do my character in a minute. There's not even any minutes. music, because I fucked up on the music setting. So this is just literally um, silent. Guys, welcome to the Infinite Monkey Tales <laughs> stream tonight. We are playing D&D, which will be GM'd by the one and only... Roy, um, I have no idea what's happening on this episode because I have tried to listen to it, but my life is just so hectic at the moment. So there you go. But I will wing it like I wing everything because even if I had played the last game, it wouldn't guarantee that I would remember it. It was a long time We're ago. Absolutely experts in improvisation on this channel. We've been doing tabletop role playing for a long time, and improvisation has been a big, big part of that. It is. We've been playing for literally hours <laughs> yep we have so while we're waiting for the sound to be sorted and to find out whether our beautiful and wonderful Mima will be attending i think she is gardening and she's forgotten because we if did she's not the don't worry up. because you get to look at that amazing picture all night long wow that's, that's just creepy that's the shadow <laughs> fell version that's the shadow fell version of Mima, <laughs> Mima's character <laughs> Cookie. So anyway, so um, just to catch up, um, Josh, how was your D&D offline game this afternoon? Excellent. They've somehow fallen into the plane of fire and it's not going well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Congratulations, That's guys. To me and I fire. play it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, tomorrow we will be doing a questions and answers session. Um, I think it's Mark, Andy, Scone, and Strain at the minute. Um, don't ask me to say the names properly. Okay. Oh, and Tony. Oh. Um, so that was tomorrow. We are doing a cheeky little sneaky giveaway. So if you want to win a prize, which we're not going to tell you what it is yet, then pop along and we will give a prize away. Yay! Um, but to be fair, we're gonna we're gonna do that whether you pop along or not. Yeah, it's we're gonna give a prize away. So come and along me, tomorrow guys, and we'll give you a prize. It is a good prize. It is a good prize. You'll like it. Yeah. So that's happening tomorrow at 8 p.m., I think. Yes. So, Roughly roundabouts, yeah. give or take, half an hour for Ange. Yeah. And because we've all got to go to bed early. Yeah, we have a work oh, in the morning. On yeah, it's squeezed yeah. between a, a bedtime nap and an afternoon nap. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then um, Tuesday, we're back to the... Um, Infinite Monkey RPG Club, which is every Tuesday night, whether we're playing computer games or we're playing That's the wrong calendar. tabletop or whether or not we are playing 
go. talking about right, games or talking about planning games and things like that. I That's like, what happens on I Tuesday. Like, I like to think that we're playing about talking about playing games. Yes. We're, we're supposed to be playing <laughs> Ages of Concordia this week, and there is space if you want to join. Um, we are playing. It's really no, we're, not, we're not supposed to. We are playing. We're I'm playing. Going. We are playing. We are, we are playing. Another job I've got to do, finish that character. Then on Friday the 13th, we are zipping back into Carbon. We haven't been there for a few weeks because... Um, and it's all going to be natural Commander's... ones because it's Friday the 13th, right? Yeah, because Commander Strain has been on his holiday bobs. Mm-hmm. Yes. How dare he? He's not anymore. Mm. But he's back he now because he was streaming in the week. So so um, quickly do a shout out for Commander <laughs> Strain and anyone who hasn't followed him, please go and follow him. He isn't actually called Commander Strain if you try and Google him. He's just called Strain. Mm. Yeah. Will, so we also need to uh, do a shout out for Scoin, Scoon, 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 Scon. Do a Jan shout Green. out, yeah. Yeah, he's actually Scoon. streaming masks at the moment. No, I don't think Ooh. he's had lucky. Was he? Was he on? He was. He was supposed to be streaming masks. Oh, I don't think he is. Um, so anyway, another one. Um, and then next week we're back to mutant and mastermind. Um, <laughs> Just trying to think. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm involved in so many games, I literally have to stop my brain for a second to try and think where we are in the story. Yeah, and I can't remember. Well, how does that work? You, you were going to rescue Danny. your Danny. brain to think. <laughs> we're going to rescue Danny. Of course we are. I knew you that. You just witnessed, like, a public <laughs> execution. We I did. Hope that would have stuck in your brain at least a, a couple of days. Why are you even Clearly. surprised that these things aren't sticking in my brain? I'm not. I'm more surprised that you're surprised that it's not in my brain. I'm surprised that you're surprised that I'm not surprised. And that takes us perfectly well onto the name of tonight's episode, which is the Circles of Memory, part two. There you go. How's that? (laughs) Um, I just thought, hold on, can I just prove something to Bong? Can you poof? I've got to prove something. Oh, you prove. He said, have you heard about taking notes? Oh, yes. That's that's yeah. that's our work. That, that's uh, yeah. Sanchez knows <laughs> on how to use the dishwasher. <laughs> it just takes a lot of notes, but it still doesn't know what's happening. You gotta read them, uh, right? I mean, we literally well, record I, this. Ep- we recorded this episode, uh, and it was about a month ago, I think, that we last played. So it takes longer than that, isn't it? Is it really? Isn't it longer than that? I think it's longer than a month, mate. Yeah. Anyway, can you guys wow. take over while I finish my character? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's a bit late in the campaign to be finishing your character. <laughs> That's my job. Um, we're like level thirteen already. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give oh, a yeah. cheeky un un conversated shout out. Um, because I'm interested and you guys don't even know anything about it, so I'm not even bothered. Uh, any of you out there? who um, may be young and is not beyond watching cartoons, you may know of a, a show called Avatar. Oh, the Last hey. Airbender. Well, not not you James you mean that you, ship. Sorry, oh, sorry, oh. you mean that like, you mean that 20 year old cartoon series that the young'uns will be watching? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, that's big courage. Carry on. <laughs> if you know of it. You heard of Star people, Trek. If you yes. know of it, right now, <laughs> over on Kickstarter, there is a Kickstarter for a TTRPG of Avatar. Woo! And you honestly, do realize it's powered talking. by yeah. the apocalypse, right? Yeah. That's it's a not great wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, you, yeah. if you, if you're interested, guys, we are going to play this. We'll probably, we may or may not stream it one day, sort of thing. It's not going to be released till February, so like every other one that we've promised, it will be a while. Um, but if you're interested, go check it out because I tell you right now, I, I, of all the TTRPGs that have been on Kickstarter, I think this one offers the most for your money so far. Mainly because they're just giving you loads of shit, but still. Um, <laughs> If you get it, um, I can give you a load of shit. Let's go in the Discord because what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're we're gonna play this off stream at some point, um, and if we can get enough people, we'll probably play it on stream and everything. But it is it is looking like a really interesting TTRPG. Um, so a little yeah. shout out for it because it has just this evening reached three and a half million dollars, and it's only on so day th- four. It doesn't need your money. Doesn't that need could your be money. Like somebody, the, yeah. somebody else's game. It yeah. doesn't need your money. 
And the best part yeah, of it, it is, because it could, it's powered by the apocalypse, the actual rules will be relatively light, so you're not going to be getting this like massive thick thing. And also because, as far as I understand it from discussing with people who know about these things, mm. the objective of that system generally is to have a kind of role-playing session where the individual participants help to form the story as it goes. So you're not even going to necessarily be getting thick campaign books out of it either. So it's a pretty good wheeze to get three million bucks for what will probably be about thirty pages. That's yep. not bad, is it? That's that's, that's not bad at all. That's like a hundred thousand a page. That's not bad at all. They, the thing is, the way their, the their stretch goals are going, there'll be about fifty-seven like hand playbooks. Oh, don't twelve even adventures. Get me going. Don't even get me a going cloth on map. Stretch goals. <laughs> in, in embroidered silk, a tea set, an actual pie show table. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one and, tw- and three um, months uh, free subscription to the, the White Lotus Club. As, as always, I'm going to segue this now. So go check that out <laughs> if you're interested. If there's any other TTRPGs on Kickstarter that you know of, or any other TTRPGs that we've never talked about that you think we should pay attention, slide on over to our Discord and drop them into our um, shopping if you have a website page if they're going live and they're on Kickstarter or something or just generally discuss them because we want to know about all the random TTRPGs not the weird ones before anyone starts posting them looking at you Kadari I know you know they exist and I know you know them <laughs> no Atal weird stuff third edition or something yeah, I'm I, hate, yeah. I hate that I mean, Kickstarter channel yeah, but I mean, um, but I mean, yeah, like Why? No, you high school princesses versus the tentacle monsters want. are still technically powered by the apocalypse. You're still lying. I'm on your side, Kidari. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, do do come and join in our Discord and shout out new stuff and everything, and do, follow all the new stuff. We're we're always sharing everything we find from dice to paints and models and. All sorts. So if that's something that interests you, slide onto our Discord. Or if you just want to chat with us and support us for our channel. Always a pleasure. Um, I th- I, are, we, are we waiting any longer for Mima? Or shall we pursue onwards with the creepy cat? I'd go on. Yeah, let's crack on. All right. Well, uh, handing over tonight uh, to Croy to take us away on our D&D. Well then, it has been some time since our last entrance into this shadowy, cold world. But here you are in the Shadowfell. You have been placed in a position not far away from the Fortress of Memories, where you've been requested merely to put your foot over the threshold to attract the attention of the Raven Queen, sufficiently distracting her long enough with your rich and full lives. Your only problem is that you don't exactly know where you're going or how to get there. You made some inquiries. You stopped by a town. You actually found a farm. Uh, It was uh, livestock. Uh, It was... uh, interesting and uh, slightly unusual foodstuffs that you were offered in the hotel from that farm. Fortunately, some of you have kept hold of a small amounts of food from the previous night's dinner, uh, but you have since had a long rest, so everybody should be uh, that. And you were accosted by, on the way out and along the road, you were accosted by some two small children. The small children one of whom, Adric, flung across the street, uh, were quite taken by you being so full of life and light. They told you the way that you need to go about capturing your memories to hold them against the decay, to make sure that you do not forget. They told you that the mere touching of these, these totems, these sigils, these holding of your personalities can go into that as long as you sit and focus on that item but once there you must take care and not lose it the small child that you didn't throw over the street left you with some knowledge left you with that the thoughts that you wish are worth a lot the hotel owner also told you a lot about this saying that you shouldn't really trade and pay too much. The memories that are given 
so far have all been worth a considerable amount and you've made yourself, well, the talk of the town as such, not least because a certain bard among you decided to caterwaul their way through the night, keeping some of the party awake. Yeah, well, for all the five minutes, apparently it was mentally traumatic for some people, mainly grumpy dwarves. <clears throat> and so it is that you find <laughs> your way into the street, uh, as much as a morning can ever be in this dark and shadowy plain. You've slept, you are rested, and the continual dredge on your soul continues as you walk down the road, only to be met by a roar and a couple of sauntering bears walking down the street, padding their way. Not that dissimilar to the black bears that we might find in our country, but, well, in this case, a strange shadow embraces them. Their darkness seems to flick off into the air and return back to them as they prowl down towards you. They look up. They stare at you. And they break into a charge. As they canter towards you, I would like everybody, please, to roll initiative. Oh, you moly. I talk about a gentle start. Oh, I forgot to pick my token. What'd you get? Uh, 15. I need to remember I stashed my macro. For... You can't use uh, macros. Can uh, you can. Tanner, you notice the change in their pace as this thing rushes. Okay. Um, I am going to hold my action, I think. Actually, I can brace, can't I? How far away are they? Oh, wait. Um, yeah, in that case, I shall move forward. And, uh, and I'm going to... I guess I'm holding my action mm -hmm. uh, for when they, when they get close. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use my reaction um, brace if it gets within when it moves within reach. Um, I send it. Um, I'm going to use a feat. But we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Moon. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Hello. I'm going to move forwards and attack these bears. I will spend a key point stash of the wind, and I will be over there. No. Over there. And then I'm going to punch this one in the face. Punching them in the face. Wow. Go for it. Uh, yeah, so as you you strike your way forward, you connect with it 
and despite the fact that it seems to not have a fixed point in time, you nevertheless pass your fist into its jaw uh, and you feel the soft flesh give as the bear's head moves slightly to the side and then lets out a bellowing roar in your direction. Right in your face. It smells great. That's unfinished. That's it for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've only got uh, little legs, so I'm just going to stand right here and just shoot them from a distance. Um, I'll go for the other one so I don't have to risk uh, accidentally nuking our cat uh, with my Eldritch Blast. Uh, so I'll attack three times at the... One, two, three. Oh, wow. Ooh, crit. Yeah, I'll hit. It doesn't have that... Uh, it doesn't have that button anymore for doing damage. Or does it? Can you... What was that when you click in the, the Eldritch Blast? It usually has a thing where you roll the damage. I think. Okay, hold on. There you go. 14 points of damage. Yeah, out of 40, 10. Uh, roll 20. We'll never get along. <laughs> and that'll be me. Oh, you what? Oh, that's just that's just how Nomish sounds when Kai is talking. No. Yeah. Uh, so the bear, having found a likely target, looks delighted. Um, it reaches out with its claw and its jaw toward this long, tall thing that's in front of it. So it crits. Well, it's clear. And 18 Oops. with its bite. Uh, 26, 36 points of damage. Okay. Unless there's anything that you're... Yeah, seems to be quite content, as it says. Ariel. I'm going to skid forward. Um, and then guiding bolt. I'm going to go like that. So I've got the right range. Yep. And I'm yeah. going to get that one. Okay. In there. So. Oh. Pants. Okay. So that's it. 13. Yeah. Guiding bolt. Looks like it was aiming towards it, but just as the the bolt moved towards it, it flitted ever so slightly in the shadow, and the dim light, the light just passes over its back into the distance. Mm. Okay, and then I'll I'll pull my mace out, ready for next encounter. <laughs> Send a turn, really, because it's not like I can do it at the minute. Yeah. Rubbish. That's my new dice as well. Oh, already in the bin. Um, the bear begins to lull up forward into a canter.
um, and stops, you know, short of Tanner uh, and roars in his face. Adric. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Shouldn't have short, short legs. <laughs> I should um, try and... running on your hands over to it. Yeah. Uh, Adric's going to run at this uh, rat and run right up to it, shouting. Mother of Blackbeard, why do I have such small legs? You put yourself in between Tanner and the bear, ready. Yep. Okay, before we end this round, Tanner, were you holding an action that can come into effect? No. <laughs> it is your turn. Um, okay, okay, then perhaps I shall complete my manoeuvre by around to the, try and flank this creature as it seems to be concentrating on Adric right now and see if I can poke it with the sharp end of a rapier. You can. I should like to use sneak attack on him too, if I may. Yeah, absolutely. In a book swashler. Your rapier slides effortlessly into the haunch of this large bear and it lets out a huge bellow as the pain reaches its brain. You look satisfied as it turns and faces you, breathing down. And definitely you have its attention now. Oh well. Is that... <laughs> The end of your um, turn. I, I think for now, it is, yes. Okay. Moon. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to hit it. Oh, take out my spear this time and spear at it. Mm hmm. Yep, hits. I'll attempt stunning strike with that hit. So can you make me a con save, please? Yep. Crit. Never mind. All right. Mm. Yes, because that's an action, so I can hit more. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'll just make two bonus attacks. I'm just going to wait a bit more. It. It's me. I'm hitting it a lot. I'm done. I've run out of ways to hit it. Okay, yeah, it's definitely taking some damage. But you two are in the firing line. Kai. Muted. Yeah, I think after that last big hit, I may try and help Moon Moon out instead. Uh, so I'll be with disadvantage because uh, of uh, firing into melee. And I'm going to move uh, 30 feet closer up here. Uh, and then try and help out Moon Moon. Uh, how do we do? Because I got double range on attack spells. I got 240 foot range. But you're at disadvantage, so. Um, yeah, because it's firing to melee. So it's rolled, I've rolled the three with disadvantage. Two, two hit. Okay. Uh, a seven and a five. Okay. Every little helps, Moon. That energy. Yeah, as long as the middle one doesn't like smack him in the back of the head. Uh, 
with Bear ah. engaged as it is and keen to get this, sensing the weakness upon his quarry, begins to lunge once more at Moon. 18 and a 20. Both hit. Fifteen points. Thank you. He tries to to pounce, re rearing up, ah, biting, slamming its paws down. Ariel. Um, I step forward. Um, and um, as I bonus action, I pull holy weapon out onto my mace, and then I hit. Ing. You know what it is yet, actually. You know what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely a bear. It just has this strange. It reminds you of when Charlotte cast uh, Pass Without a Trace, and the shadows sort of folded up around you. Oh right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's twenty. Hit. Uh. Twenty-two. That hits. All these plus six. So that is. And 16, 16, 22, 28. That hit looks almost as if you managed to to knock it completely out. It begins to just slumber to one side and then it shakes its head uh, and it roars once more and looks confused and hurt. I obviously wasn't expecting this. This isn't usually what happens in this town when it wants to f have its dinner. Give a bit of a kick in as well. <laughs> um, yeah, you see a dark shadowy mist envelope it as the shadows seem to to form um, around I might not stand in the shadowy bit yeah it, it, um, it the shadows engulf it and it, you see it reappear um, about 30 feet away from you um, mm. where it continues to charge back the way it came I love watching Andy's facial expressions when he realises he has to walk towards it again <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just saw that <laughs> it's not fair <laughs> uh, you guys are going to suffer all things <laughs> Poor Aldrick and his little Imagine stubby legs. You, could throw. <laughs> you should have eaten your vegetables. Aldrick said he spends more of it running than he does fighting. Yeah. Maybe you should anticipate where your enemies are going to be before they move. <laughs> so you can catch them as they go past. <laughs> Aldrick. Somebody toss me. Did Aldrick um, get a target of We're not that. Yeah, we're not in that kind of TTRPG on that guy. Oh, would I now go on the tag? Uh, okay. Not when it bumps like that. Oh! If you were quick enough, you could have jumped on its back and run down the road on top of it. You know, like yeehaw! <laughs> Adric jumps on Ariel's back. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what a tagline for what a tagline for the encounter. Toss a toss a dwarf and ride a bear. Toss, toss a dwarf. But Adric just someone clip that. Bucket. Sprint after. That'll not throw your axe at it or something. Just... I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if only I knew what to do with this purely hand throwing axes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Doesn't have axes. He's a bat. He has a two-handed hammer. He He's can't a dwarf. throw that. Get he has a down. spear. I mean, you can throw anything if you put your bind to it. There's an actual event called hammer tossing, isn't there? So, yes. But that's, he tosses like a black ball pudding. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> tosses a Yorkshire pudding. That's the thing. 
I can just imagine the look on his face where he's just like, somebody toss me! And then looks at his hammer being like, oh, I could toss the hammer! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and misses. Okay. I love how Josh is probably the only one who here who knows what I mean when I'm talking about blood pudding and Yorkshire pudding tossing, because it is a competition up here. An annual event. Weirdos. <laughs> It's, it's the competition once. between tossing the Yorkshire pudding versus the black pudding. Or is it... It's something we only do in prison. <laughs> it's the Yorkshire puddings won the tossing contest. <laughs> yeah. Still stuck on the fact that Adric's dash is the same speed as my casual stroll. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Tanner. <laughs> Hello. Um, it's a very long way away now, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to chase after the guy that's chasing after the thing. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I'll put myself just here. How about that? Mm. And I will hold an action in case he decides he's coming back. Okay. Moon. Finish him. Yes. yes, yes. It or her. I'm going to hit it again. Big bear. Find me on mute button. Hit. Hit. Uh, I will try to make a stunning strike again. If you can make me another con save. Yeah. Eighteen. Yeah, passes. Okay. And I'll just hit it some more times. Before it blows that. Yeah, you're definitely impacting on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So as you, you begin to continue your attacks, um the, the bear looks like it's about to fall over and you just went bring the the edge of your, your spear around and smack it right into the back of it and it falls down at your feet. Um, as it does so, it very quickly begins to turn in slightly soft looking. Um, it, mm, it seems to be changing. Softer? It's I'll black. I'll spot marshmallow for some reason. Black pudding. <laughs> 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 well, that's what you have after your main course, so yeah. Uh, Moon. That's still me. Any more? No, I'm done. I've used everything I can use. Except dancing. I can dance at it. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll... yeah. I'll yell over to the, the other guys, but like, don't worry, boys, I'll slow it down for you. And then I'll launch some Eldritch Blast at the the retreating uh, goth bear. Mm -hmm. And hope for the best. Jeez, oh. Okay, the last one, it's... <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Probably not enough. Yeah, so... What... What does it look like when you dispatch this bear with your final with your blast? <laughs> I just I just I just want to be like the idea of the guys like huffing and like running after it and it's like, Don't worry, I got it. So you like you just, you just sort of shoot it, like it doesn't really react and it just it slows down and they're like, We're catching up to it, we're catching up to it and then it just slumps down and dies just as they get up to it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it too falls to the ground. Um, and those of you that are, are near it, you know that the form of the bear just looks like it it sinks rather quickly, you know, like a decaying corpse would. Um, and it slowly drops down in size as it spreads out. Uh, Moon, you're sitting, you're standing right next to it watching this. Um, you killed yours slightly quicker, and it already 
I'm relaxed, but not that relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> you're um, <laughs> yeah. So you're there, and you watch as this thing begins to to to, to pull down towards the ground. Um, its rib cage you hear cracking. Um, the bones in it begin to 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 malform. Um, the skull at one point just implodes into itself, and you watch this metamorphosis in front of you. We go now. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I'm too far it. back. Yeah. Well, it turns out in this planet, this this uh, particular dimension, that the bears die with dramatic effect. <laughs> Can't just fall bit. over like a normal one. If an attention seeker, a bit over dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are in the goth dimension. Um. Do you want to go poke it with a stick and see if there's a? So where um, where were we heading before we got attacked? This way. Oh, good. That way. You Did we have a destination? To... That way. Same destination we always have. Try to take off. <laughs> <laughs> Forward. So yeah, yeah, you walk up to this, and you're all standing around uh, this. Uh, it turns to black mush, more or less. Ooh. It turns to a sort of goopy. I search its pockets. Glue. <laughs> it's six gold pieces. I loot the corpse. <laughs> yeah. Roll. Yeah, you find six gold pieces, a set of leather armor, and a and a short sword. <laughs> roll. Roll on the magic table, A. You'll be fine. <laughs> The black goop begins to pool, and um, it looks Ew. as it as it pools out over. It kind of spreads as much as the the layer layer of the land allows. Um, <clears throat> and the next thing you see is a, a droplet of the black goo beginning to to rise upwards. Quick, moon, put it in your mouth. <laughs> Can you give it a quick flick with the rapier? The end of the rapier. Yeah, Damn it. he's. You slice it through, um, and two smaller parts begin to rise up. Two small bears, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how bears work. But... <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to use sacred flame on it and try and set it on fire. You should eat it. And every in every adventure I've seen, someone who ingested a black goo always turned out to be a superhero. <laughs> You've only seen one movie, um, <laughs> but it was the right one. <laughs> so the 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 flame just burns, um, and, and but even even that flame doesn't have the desired effect of the glow okay. that you normally associate. It's still there's still an element of heat to it, but it doesn't quite have that same fervence and religious zealotry that you're used to when you cast these things. Uh, it looks a bit weakened and subdued, um, but it does sizzle on the the goo. Uh, as it continues now, multiple drops begin to rise up. We should uh, leave. Let's leave. I don't think it's normal. If we... If we leave it, it's going to attack the town. Oh, what? Well. The Ariel's are right. About, by this time, the droplets, there's multiple droplets now formed from the pool, um, but the highest drops are, are maybe about 20 feet up in the air. We cannot leave a monster to rampage a town. We must find it and kill it. It's going up there, though. I don't think it's going to rampage the town from up there. I mean, I can't reach it. You've got no fucking chance. <laughs> I can reach that. How many how many drops are up that high at the moment anyway? Yeah. Uh, if I really point, want to eradicate it, I can just shoot it like yeah. target pra like some kind of uh, gloopy black puddingy. At this point now, there's, shoot. <laughs> there's more in the air floating up than there is on the ground gooping around. Guy, yeah, you have the ability to make <laughs> us fly, have you not? Uh, not all of us. 
I mean, oh, are we yeah, really going to fly up the there bucket? for the spend? Are we going to spend the next hour? What's our actually? What's our actually? So hold on, before we cast flying people, <laughs> what, what's our what's our plan once we get up there? It just seems whatever we hit it, it just makes it smaller and split anyway. So we have all, to find I mean, a way of catching that, it. That is all of the all of the goop now. All of the goop now is in the air. There's none left on the ground. Huh. So is it reforming in the air above us? It just seems to be rising up in the air above you. I mean, I would, I would love it if the bear re coalesced like 60 feet up in the air and then just fell to the ground and died. <laughs> <laughs> I s mm. Is it like sort of spread out? Is it like sort of like grouping? Or is it just no, like. No, no, it's droplets. In fact, yeah. Get, yeah, roll perception as you're staring at this stuff flowing yeah. upwards. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Could, and that's could how I, rain is made. Uh, yeah. Could I roll like Arcana or something to try and figure out what's going on? Um, oh, ten. Yeah, Tanner says jokingly, that's how rain is made. And as you watch it, it seems to go into the clouds. <sighs> oh, if I no, that, uh, that might be a bit <laughs> too high now. I can't reach that high. It's like some kind of bare version of the water cycle. They're going to rain down somewhere in the valleys yeah. and recoalesce. I really don't like this place. <laughs> I don't like this place. Can I, can I roll our card and try and figure out what's going it. on? Yeah, go like, for it. I don't know. I feel like I'm I should scared. have like a minus one because of Tanner's rain thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think I need every point I got. You're rolling you... with disadvantage, mate. <laughs> you... It's roll 20, always. You... Look up and and see whatever form that put this together, whatever made it, um, must have left some sort of residual magic within it at some point for some reason for some purpose. But what that is, you don't know. Um, mm. This was a strange enough beast when it was alive. The fact that it's now dead and it's still a strange beast. Well. Hmm. Well, there's not much we it's can do about it now, then. It's a cloud turning into a giant cloud bear. I hope not. We just go. Yeah, let's keep walking. See what attacks yeah. us next. <laughs> if the next thing that tries to kill us turns into upside-down rain, I hope for the best. So... You walk in, you're walking up the path. Um, this path maintains itself, but the buildings stop as, as quickly as they started. There's there's no city limit sign. There's no nice parks. It's just buildings in the middle of this dark and desolate landscape. Are we heading towards anything in particular? Well, you've been told that this is the road that takes you to the Fortress of Memories, so... I assume that that's what you're intending to, but in terms of what you see, it's not... Uh, you keep walking for a few, uh, an hour or so, cover a few miles, and the landscape remains unchanged, just this dry grass, fence posts that look like they might once have been ringed round some field or another, um, and then those fences start to look like they are ringing round some sort of field or other very crudely cultivated land. Um, and a, a stream of dark water just begins to form seemingly out of, out of nowhere on one of these fields and flows downhill slightly. And at the end of that stream, dark stream as you follow it down you see more fields you'd come to the crest of a small hill and you look down uh, and you see a farm building and in that farm building the there's a, as far as you can tell from this distance there's something somebody walking around in it but the fields themselves are being uh, they become increasingly more Tended. Uh, there's more signs of them being worked to, the further down the hill you get and follow this water. What time is it? Early morning, I'm assuming. Yeah, that you can tell. Can't often tell in this place. You're just going by <laughs> your 
sleep cycles. You've woken up. You've had some time. Yeah. Maybe we can ask that fella down there who knows the way to this fortress. And so... Yes. Get some breakfast. You arrive... down at the farm. Um, And you see a, a strange creature. Um, ears and snout. It's not a tabaxi. It it watches you approach. Um, and as you get closer to it, you see it has strange, almost wing-like ears coming from it, and it's pretty tall. Uh, it has a cloak over its over its right side, and on the left side you see a large muscular arm. And there, it's appears to be tending something, um, attempting to pull a stake out of the ground. A large wooden fence post with one hand, uh, and as you approach, it succeeds. You just hear the sound of it wrenching from the ground and it holding aloft this ginormous trunk of wood in its hand. Bravo! Good morning. Um, it turns around and observes you. And it's still holding this massive, like, eight-foot-long piece of wood. A foot... A f- oh, come on, guys. <laughs> 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 We've been here before. I get to... Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm just, we'll just work past this one, I think. <laughs> I feel like you're walking into this one. I think so. <laughs> Surely you should have so, expected Andy's response. I should have. What did I miss? Uh, nothing at all. <laughs> It's the exact same. It's the exact same joke you told in text chat. So try, don't play innocent. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. And uh, uh, he, he all right, lefty. To observe you, and he he puts his he puts a bit of fibrous material down on the ground, um, and he observes you. Yeah. Uh, and. <laughs> Uh, I, he, I'm going to approach him. Are you a bit of a master staker? <laughs> um, in your head, um, you hear a strange sound. Does it, do either of you speak either abyssal or infernal? You know, very common language. Um, oh, it just so happens that no. <laughs> Speak common. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so no. everyone knows that Gnomish is equivalent to Celestial. You hear this noise, this rumbling in your head. It it, it emanates as it gestures. As it puts it down. The cloak spins over the side of its back. On, it covers its large red arm. <laughs> 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 Ariel's having a little meltdown. Right? And then <laughs> it, it reveals um, a it reveals a small, <laughs> almost human-like arm um, uh, on its side, um, and it holds up its hand and signals as if to tell you to stop. stop. I, I, I'll, approaching I'll, or yeah, I'll stop when he does that. Um, I just say uh, uh, we heard. And I look at his ears when I say that and look a bit embarrassed. Don't look that, at his ears. That, that's very the, sensitive. The fortress of memories was along this road. Um, Can you tell us how far? You get another strange rumbling 
in your head. It feels uh, somebody's started an earthquake nearby you and it seems to be focused in your brain. It's difficult to comprehend what it's trying to say, but it's clearly trying to communicate with you and failing and it recognizes that. Um, it turns slightly to one side and focuses its attention to the door on the building that it's standing in front of. I step forward and get a stick off the ground and then start drawing a picture of a bird and then a queen with a crown on and then a big castle. I think he just wanted us to go talk to whoever's inside the building. Moon, you you yes. understand all spoken languages. Spoken languages. Yeah. So Some even, yeah, even for this... Uh, yeah. uh, just uh, imagine his brains are paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, the, the door the door opens, and a smaller a smaller character enters into the picture. That's um, not small. Is this like a short person with like a massive right arm and a tiny left arm? I believe that's a red wall character. Yeah. So um, out walks this uh, rather short looking jackal, bipedal, still walking. With, um, relatively finely dressed, and it looks up to you, um, and looks over at the charge and nods something um, you don't know. But then he says in a language that Moon, you understand. Oh. You have come this way. You have come this way so far. You have come so far this way. I do not know which way you come from or which way you are going. Have you come to make a trade? We have come from behind and we go to ahead. I'm speaking in common. Uh, and as soon as he hears which you he speaking in common, yeah, he immediately he immediately um, switches to speaking common as well. These are my uh, eyes. We go in that direction. I point in the direction of thoughts and memories. Yeah, and he 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 says, "How? Oh, you bring the essence of a change with you? Yes. Are you those that they seek in the backwards way? Are they?" Uh, and he, he looks at all of you and walks up. Oh. Well. We were told there was to be change. It seems that we are not the only ones who do not belong in this land. Why are you all here if you are not to bring change? We are only here to see change. And yet we cannot affect change if we do not move past. You must allow us to pass, and then change will be seen. Yes, 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 yes. Well, perhaps first. You would like to have an exchange of a story. Certainly. We're actually just looking for directions. And he looks at, he looks at um, Tanner and says, "So where have you come from, and where is your forward?" We're looking for the fortress of memories. Where did you start on this journey? What difference does that make? Well, that way it becomes a story. We're not here to tell stories. We haven't got time. There is always time for a story. No, there isn't. He sits down on a log that was recently dropped onto the ground. Please. Sit. Or stand. But let's listen to the story. And he gestures over to Moon. I will perch nearby. We haven't got time for this. We can't stay in this mist forever, Moon. 
We need to hurry up and leave. This place is affecting our minds. We already know that. And yet if we tell a story, we can pass. If we do not tell a story, we may be here forever. He can't stop us. We'll just walk through. Tanner, you're with right. me on this. It doesn't need to be a particularly long story, does it? Right, there once was a dwarf, he fell off a cliff, and now he's dead. Right, can we move on? Your storytelling is terrible. And you might be tempting I, fate. He, I mean, he, to be fair, he's just reciting one of the dwarven epics. They weren't, they weren't very good at writing stuff out, because they had, made do, had to do it in stone, so they're very short. Have you know, that was the story my mother used to tell me when I went to bed. Now, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Drake, just sit down. <sighs> Fine, but someone pass me some food. I'm absolutely famished. I'm rooting around in my bag already. And I'll just toss it for a story. Adric. I am rooting for a story, yes. And Once upon a time. I the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> hey, that's Star Wars, isn't it? <laughs> what no, Star Wars? We're close enough. <laughs> I'll take out a hunk yeah. In a I'll crystal a sphere far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> there was a rebellious gallywag. There were three Billy Goats <laughs> gruff. <laughs> I watch Moon tell a story. I take out a purple handkerchief from my bag. And I will show it to him. And I will tell him a story of a man. A man whose name was Mert the Merciless. This handkerchief belonged to him. And he was a great threat to many in Neverwinter. And across the Sword Coast. And after he retired, he became a factor. One who can arrange things when things need to be arranged. The head of a trading party. And I got this handkerchief from him. He's now known as Mert the Moneylender. And he works in Waterdeep. He lent you a and handkerchief and became me. known as the Moneylender? No. He gave me a handkerchief. He became known as the Moneylender because he lent yeah, me. They're money. unrelated events in a series of events. <laughs> they are unrelated. That is my f <laughs> he, met, he met a girl. Yeah. And then he fucked her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he told me very important words. We must fight, it seems, often enough to keep our swords and our tempers sharp. But all of us fight when we must. We do not need to fight. You never know of the many times that a... And I'm looking at Adric as I say this. You never know of the many times that a quiet word or a skillful deal has turned enemies aside from each other when a weapon could not. When that, their weapon has never failed. Away clear, if you kill them all, they can't the attack you. Eager task Adric. of tearing Shh. out what? each other's throats. This is absolutely preposterous, story. <laughs> well, Adric. What? Right. One second. Fold One second. I'm, 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 Let I'm him finish the goddamn yeah. story, or this is going to yeah. be going on a long time. And a that second. is the true way of the Harpers, subtle and quiet, behind the shouting, with wisdom. And intelligence, and not weapons and force. This is, I feel this story is biased. I took the handkerchief back into my bag. A story for you. Moon, lovely, Moon, I gave Thank you, you that handkerchief. That's absolutely lies. That's my <laughs> handkerchief. No, that's the other handkerchief. Yeah. Uh, I... Quick question for the DM. If I cast Mage Hand, can it gag <laughs> someone? <laughs> 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 I I see no reason. I was hoping I, I was hoping I could do like a prestige. One. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for like a pre like a reverse prestidigitation where I could turn it from like a regular talk into a whisper. <laughs> yeah, similar, I see. But... A contested, a contested <laughs> role might be in order, but oh, otherwise, oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> How hard do I need to help Adric for it to count as a weapon attack <laughs> so I can make a stunning strike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You never struck me as a purple handkerchief kind of guy, to be honest, Adric. It was blue when I bought it. It's tinted yellow, yellow now. 
blue you're not and yellow. To use your hand- yeah, you're, you're not supposed to use your handkerchief <laughs> to wipe in that part of your body. The uh, uh, as you as you talk, um, the, the the jackal from his rather fine robes pulls out a, a parchment, um, and on the parchment you see the words that you've said on the story. And he said, "Thank you." Thank you for the story. This is uh, the Harpers. Yes, I I have heard of the Harpers. They are very good at making deals. Very good at making deals. We agreed to an exchange. They're also terrible at fighting. <clears throat> to be honest, I was kind of hoping that parchment was a fucking map. Wait, Moon, why would you ask for a story in return? That was going to take twice as long. <laughs> we don't. We don't need to hear a story. We just need to know the direction. We already know the direction. It's through here. Then why are we waiting here? Because an exchange was agreed to. It's far away. It was. How Drake? It's just a it's weird real, cultural it's exchange. Time. It's not wasting time. It's following the other, another place's rules. And ways. He's if we came into your land, and, if we came into your land and ignored all your rules and ways, you'd be the first to moan. Now shut up and just wait. I mean, I think part of that is why he's been moaning through most of the adventure. <laughs> but by the way, to my land, Ariel. But if I did, I would be respectful of your ways. Now shut up. Hmm. You know, you've got very rude recently, Ariel. I mean, a lot of Doubt. swearing of you lately. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just this guy's just sitting um, and he, he listens to you to, to banter and says, ah, there seems to be many stories between you all. There's not, Maybe with it's not time. a good story. There's no legend. A legend? <laughs> yeah. Yes, if it, a, a good legend. story has a hero who slays you, the orcs. You look like you would Enjoy the story of the general of the general of Gena who was able to summon the demons forth. The Tanari, the Batesu, he was able to bring them forward from impurities. No, of I'm the not a fan of which you see. You see here and he points round. And what, do you mean the one-armed bandit? No, of these, they stem from a place that has great interest in the stories that are here. The greatest stories have yet to come, but the one that made it, the powers, oh yes, the powers to create, the general used impurities within the race. He took a gem artifact Ooh, what sort of gem was it? Was it a diamond, a ruby, an emerald? How well was the cut? It was of exquisite make. It was called the Heart of Darkness. According to the story, the law and chaos inherent within Eugloth was projected into squirming lava. Larvae of their place. He spoke with them. He made them into dark magic. Beasts no bigger and smaller. Than your fingers. The dark magic got into their minds. And his minions herded them into the abyss. And they evolved. And they evolved just as they have here. Have you eaten any of the fine foods of this land? Have you seen the beasts that they cultivate in the pools? I can't tell if this is part of the story if he's asking us a question now. This is where they came from. The stories of the beasts not yet evolved. And mind, if you eat them, then that seed of darkness will be inside of you as well. I told you we shouldn't have eaten them. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, what do you mean by that?
He looks at you. Well, my story tells you of something in this land. And you have told me something of your land. A fair exchange. Where would you like to go? Where are you headed? We've already gone towards the Fortress of Memories. Then you are on the right path. Oh, thank How God. far is it? Uh, that changes. Sometimes it is close. Sometimes it is very far away. Is there more story checkpoints on the way? <laughs> if there are, I have many more stories. Believe you. We are just <laughs> humble farmers I'm awaiting sure I for. Up. I walk much faster than you. I'm waiting. What do you grow? Um, and he he points over to to the fields where you see this this water, and it it hits a a, a water wheel. The water hits the water wheel, and as it hits the water wheel, um, it it's, it begins to turn. Um, the wheel, oh, as he looks at it, um, the wheel begins to turn a bit faster. We are this. millers. We make a bread of sorts. And the, you see the water as it hits the, the water wheel. It's going under the wheel and and up into the air as you look at it. You eat your bread? What else do you do with bread? I'm asking him if he eats his own his own bread. The seed of darkness is within you also, then, is it? Um. Yeah, and he he just uh, gives you a, a a smile, a wink, um, and says, uh, "There are places that I would rather not be." In comparison to here, and there are places I would rather be. On the balance, it could be much worse. And now he's talking in riddles. Yeah, you notice that? That is not a riddle. He has places he would rather be. I also have places I would rather be, but I am here. Yes, I'd rather be walking towards where we're supposed to be going rather than sat here talking about random crap. Nobody is stopping you, it is in that direction. Very good. good job. Oh. Adric will uh, shimmy up and uh, walk off in the direction that they were heading. I'll fall after him, actually. Um, he he looks at he looks at Moon, um, Hello. who's still sitting next, and um, he says um, he says. Watch this! And he turns around to where Adric's walking off. Um, and he begins to wave his his hands. Um, well, this is going to be interesting. And yeah, Adric, um, as you as you walk past. Uh, you, you just feel like you're you're walking, um, uh, and it's fine. Um, but I would like you to make a, a, a will saving throw, please. I'm in the wrong system for that, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't have will. Power. I'd be quite like to, to make wisdom. a will saving throw, honestly. <laughs> wisdom, I don't have a power saving throw. I'd like throw to make either. a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom? I can do wisdom. <laughs> what game you. has will in? Oh, um, I, I don't War, know Warhammer? why. I, um, it is the first one. I don't know why disadvantage was still ticked. 
I know yes, why I was, but I don't know why I was. It's because you're always exhausted, mate. That's why disadvantage is too. So you, um, you are, uh, you begin to, um, you, you sort of look at, at your hand as it begins to, to vanish in front of you. Your hand begins to vanish and you're just like, wait, what, wait, what? And you just, you, you flick your hands as if something's wrong. You shake your head and, and you, you see yourself back again. And he says, the, the character says to Mbuna, oh, it seems he's not so ignorant after all. Maybe he does want to be here. Maybe you will do okay. Hmm. This is why no one likes wizards. Maybe you should stop being so rude. I don't think he's a wizard. Wizards wear hats. Whatever magical beast. Turn me back. Yeah, laugh, and you, so you do. Yeah, you're fine. You, as you, you kind of shake your hands again, you, you reappear. Your hands appear back solidly in your hands. Um, this wouldn't have happened at home. God. That's probably true. Right. Are we? Can I leave, or do I need to kill you? I say no, thank no, you, and kill. to the little little weaselly thing. Thank mm. you for your help. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, little jackal man. <laughs> I'm sorry about my friend. He doesn't mean to be rude. He's such a yes, uh, I do. He's such a knob dobber. We just have to put up with him. I'm apologising. Right. That is the name of his clan. Uh, you, you're treated with respect. Aldrich knob dobbler. Also, that post isn't straight that he's put in. <laughs> Aldrich, shut up and just leave. I'm walk. trying to. Moon, are you staying fast? Are you? What are you doing? Oh, leave when everyone else does. Yeah. So the party kind of walks walks on. Um, Thank you for the story. Thank you. And he says, "I look forward to seeing what you accomplish, all of you." As I'm walking away, I just check that the handkerchief's properly in my bag. <laughs> yep. You have all your possessions. Nah. Blasted fairy creatures, more annoying than those children in the town. I believe he was a jackal. No, so you didn't throw him across the He was the definitely a jackal. <laughs> all the same, hunting material, I say. You hunt jackals? I nah, I've killed this. a few. Do you do this walking on your hands also? Moon. Yes. I will turn you into a rug. I would be impressed to see you try. You continue to walk down through the shadow fell. It begins to become a less flat area. The hills begin to rise and you walk for for some time. Um There is a a sense of foreboding. There's a sense of being watched. Watched. There's a sense of there always being a presence over your shoulder. And yet, when you look around, there's nobody there. The scrubby grass land, the uh, unfertile fields, give way to undulating foothills. Trumlins begin to come into larger hills. The larger hills take you up higher into the... Uh, and you look in the distance and... Just ever so far away, uh, difficult to say, miles probably, um, you see the faintest look of... something, smoke? St Smoke, uh, but 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 across the horizon. Hannah, do you get the feeling we're we're being followed? Yeah, I've had some kind of feeling like that for a while. Mm. Well, somebody's watching us, I guess. I Moon. she knows we're here. 
Moon, yes. would you be so kind? Circle back behind us. Make sure we're not being followed by a, a physical creature, at least. Certainly. I take off my hat and tuck it against my bag. And pull my hood up and disappear. Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyone else see the smoke on the horizon? Is that where we're supposed Call to be those heading? those clouds where I come from. <laughs> smoke moving Think. sideways across the sky? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just... Get the yeah. feeling Watch out, that <laughs> from what that little jackal thing was saying that this Raven Queen will make herself appear when she wants to appear. We could walk for days or we could walk for minutes. So what you're saying is we don't walk. I mean we're trying to get to a building, not the Raven Queen herself specifically. That's a point. Well, we asked her where the, we asked that fellow where the, the fortress was. Yes, and he didn't where tell us. So we head for the smoke then. There's the smoke in the direction of the fortress. Well, we just got told to carry on this road. There was no other directions, so we keep is, on this road it, until. It does the road look like it's heading towards the smoke? Hmm. I mean, when you look in front of you everywhere, it looks like it's heading towards the smoke. Moon, is it black double back. or is it white? Um, yeah, it's it's like a undulating black sh shadowy. There's elements of uh, some some lighter form, something. Every so often, you see just just appearing. A, um, and as you crest over the hill. Uh, looks like you've got to a, a bit of a, a pass, a, a mountain pass. Um, you've been climbing for a considerable amount of time at this point. Um, and you look down over the, the valley in front of you. Um, the rock protrusions are sharp and, and jagged. They're low-lying, nonetheless. Everywhere but the path that you're, you're leading seems to fall and drop down uh, and you see clearly now across the, the plain there's a large circle of this smoke appearing and it, it just turns far away as, almost as far as you can see it looks every so often you just see a, a, a moat of light appearing in it and then disappearing again That doesn't look natural, does it? But possible we're not the only ones seeking the Queen. Is it like a thundercloud, sort of lightning in it? Yeah, yeah, kind of like that, isn't it? Yeah, that sort of that same sort of light that you see just flashes of and then disappearing. Yeah, it looks like trouble. Maybe we should be cautious. Maybe. Maybe we should leave the Don't road. Don't you say it. Don't you fucking say it. <laughs> what? Moon. Moon. You are... Yes. You are uh, doubled back um, before the pass and you, you, you climb up. Um, give me a perception roll, please, okay. as you're looking back over the way you have... what you have come. Um, terrible. <laughs> you are uh, you were able to see the, the farm from the, the vantage point that you have um, but you also see a small trail of light just ever so slightly almost like a mist that seems to be walking down um, but it's too far away for you to, to focus on you don't know what it is I'll start moving towards it. I've seen strange things floating around here before. Yeah. I'd like to get a better I walk. mean, I mean, from our exp limited experience, I think everything here is a strange. It's funny, dude. I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. When you spend your quick. Strangest of all. Uh, and you, you, you make yourself 
uh, cover the distance in, in no short space of time. And at that point, you see there's a string of these same ghosts that you saw at the very beginning. Um, these strange white cloud-like entities that, that shift um, through and they seem to be following the path that you're on and they're heading up. Um, but as they get to, as the first of the, the line of these things gets to the hill, it doesn't go up the hill and over the, the rise as you did. It just floats directly through into the hill, keeps in a straight line. Um, but there's there's a string of these all the way back. It's... Do I still feel like I'm being watched? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. There's going to be a dark cloud of um, precipitated dire bears or whatever. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'll catch up to one of the ghosts on the yeah. floating entities and just brush my hand against it. Yeah, and as soon as you brush your hand against it, you're immediately transported. You're transported onto, uh, you're transported onto a ship, and you're transported onto a ship of somebody looking out over uh, a, a very rough, very rough sea, um, and the captain's trying to bellow instructions um, to be heard over the, the tumult of of the storm, um, and. You just can't hear the words that are being said, uh, and then a giant wave comes smashing over this this boat and rips it down under the sea. The body that your the eyes that you're looking for tossed and turned within the waves, and then a feeling of calm, a voice. Do not fear the sea, do not fear the water, do not fear, you are in my embrace. And you feel the f sensation that this, this person has suddenly gone from being absolute panic stricken to <laughs> being calm and cool and this sensation of peace, of, of of, of joy, um, of, of strength. Um, in return, you will find yourself adrift, but never give up hope. And when you arrive, you will take yourself and become a cleric of my name, you will become a cleric of Eldath. And in my name, you will do great works. And in my name, you will help bring peace and healing and hope to those who suffer. And then you're immediately just drawn back and your the memory passes. You know. See if I can catch another one before I move through this hill. I'm forming a theory. Try and touch another ghost. Catch one. Yeah, you touch. You touch a, 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 another one of this this kind of cloud, and again you're you're slung back. It, you recognise what's happened. You recognise this place. This is Neverwinter. This is um, this is a street that you know. You've been on this street. And the person's running, um, chasing somebody down, chasing somebody over um, barrels that are being lobbed and chucked. And eventually you catch up with this person um, and you look them, uh, this person straight in the eye. The, the person says, I, I will not tell, I am not going to tell you anything. And a dagger appears in your hand and you hold it to the neck of this individual. And you, your voice says, uh, You will tell me, or I will kill you where you lie. And uh, the, the person on, the, uh, on the, the, the floor in front of you, he says, You will not let me live. 
Uh, and he tries to throw you off, um, but you're too strong. The individual can't move. I, I... It was Lord Septus. He was the one that ordered the strike. He was the one who ordered it. Now let me go! Hmm. And again, as he does, he lets the figure go and you watch this individual just disappear off down the street and you are jolted back into the Shadowfell and the last of the ghosts pass into the hillside. I'm just going to stand here for a minute and just stare in the direction of the farm to see if I see any movement. Yeah, roll perception again. Hey, you're a bit closer to you're a bit closer to the farm, and um, as far as you can tell, there's there's still somebody. Um, looks like they're lifting giant fence posts and then slamming them into the ground. Very large, strong hand. Red color. Oh, I grab the big red hand thing. I'll just walk back up the hill towards the party slowly. Yeah. Um, the crows. The crows that uh, you see occasionally land and fly up suddenly. Just, there's a big disturbance and they fly up into the sky and fly and loop around a couple of times where you are um, and then they fly they fly around and land back down in the field some, some ways away and you get to the top of the hill where the rest of the group are standing looking out over the, the plain in front of them um, yeah so I think that's probably a good point as Moon rejoins the party to take a break You are a troll. <laughs> and I didn't bite. Why would you bite? You heard nothing. Mm. I was like, you you also party. don't bite. Still invisible. <laughs> Still invisible, right. Still invisible. I'll just walk up behind Adric and just lean down towards his ear and just whisper, I didn't see anybody. <laughs> And then we can take a break. <laughs> yeah, let's take a break! <laughs> uh, we'll be <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, everybody get a banana sandwich. <laughs> yeah, get a banana sandwich or dunk a conut in your tea. Whatever tickles your fancy. And we'll be back in 10 a minutes. Conut. A conut. A conut. Grand, a conut. What's a, a conut? conut? Not it's a like cronut, a cronut, but more alphabetical. <laughs> well, Google it in the break it's and find out. <laughs> Conut, right, we will do. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll uh, we'll be back in ten minutes. Back soon. Bye. We'll be back. Bye bye. Conut. Bye. <laughs> anywhere. What, I on? mean, I'm not the one who put their away camera as a monkey. I was eating some what's it. <laughs> Oh. Cheesy. Welcome back. <laughs> um, and now stream is a word that you read some WhatsApp. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some, well, someone's going to keep track of when the stream is about to start. <laughs> someone does. Uh, right. A few people do. We just don't care. Uh, <laughs> um, no one was listening. Back, all right. Um, hopefully, you've all got yourself a refreshment. You've had a break. Um, you've probably Googled co-nuts and realised that they're a thing. Now and you probably want one. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. Hungry. I'm not hungry enough to go to hungry. Are you feeling hungry? <laughs> I am now. Look amazing. Try, Look a bit <laughs> greasy. <laughs> ah, what, I, I found a picture. Enough. I found a picture which I posted to show, but we didn't realise it had syringes in it. 
syringes. Syringes. What's a syringe? I don't know. It's like a syringe. How you put sauce? You not get your words right tonight, and. You, don't say that, because you meant to say coconut, and you said no, coconut, no, and then yes, started the it. whole thread. Don't, don't dare you bring up these sorts of accusations with no foundings and proof. Um, I, I, they do I, look pretty special, though, don't they? They do look nice. I do want one. Um, I'm going to go to Hungry now just to get one. Uh, preferably not with syringes in. Um, hi. Oh, so uh, the hell else are you going to get COVID? <laughs> yeah, that's too not... soon. Too soon. This is the Hungarian <laughs> COVID vaccine delivery system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the, um, the, the, the epsilon variant rate to take that. If they did that, fucking hell, Britain would be like 100 percent got it. Everyone's been injected. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, to be fair, I mean, to be fair, the way the UK is going, they'd be like, you can't tell me not to inject COVID into my ice cream. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do it just to spite you, newspaper person. Oh god. Scientist. Anyway, we're not gonna get into COVID because that's an argument where everyone loses. Um, <laughs> here's an argument where no one loses. Join our Discord. I want an angry cloud. No. It's not even um, an argument. <laughs> Join our YouTube as well. Join our YouTube. Subscribe to us. Give YouTube. us those thumbs. Give us those thummies. Yeah. Give us a thumbs, um, we want you on the let's, YouTube. Let's, let's, let's think about this. I mean, is, is everybody here? Everybody no. here, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? And If, if not, you've subscribed to not? our YouTube channel, say yes in chat now. Think one. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> Two. Credit. Uh, bong, maybe. maybe. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Is there yes, is there yes. something wrong with our YouTube channel? We we, we need to know. Can no, but I will. Here? There's one. Good. Yeah. Go Gosh. do it. Go do it's it. A, it's a survey. Go if you go what do would you it like now. To see on our YouTube and we'll send you a personal thank you message. I won't know that they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's if just you a send win -win. Ange a screenshot of the fact that, that you've subscribed, she will send you a personal thank you message. Um. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and come and follow us on Twitch and Discord. It's magic. Come along um, for the ride. Yeah. We're just going to get straight into it. I don't think we've got any new announcements. Um, Apart from we I need some clips. No, we do need clips. Uh, thank you to R Rasinka for your 11 months. Very appreciated. Thank you. Hey, cheers, We've almost made the year. Speaking of almost making the year, guys, we are coming up to our one-year anniversary, and we need your help. Um, we we could go through and do this ourselves, um, but we are too lazy. We're so too lazy. We you to do it. <laughs> no, it's not about what we find funny. It's what you guys find funny. If you've got any clips or anything, or there's any moments that you thought were really funny of us, if you can find them, or if, if you if you can't be bothered finding them, just mention them in our Discord in the IMT clip section, because we're going to try and gather them, because we're going to do a montage of all of Can our. We just funny clarify um, that the, the funny clips of us have to be on the IMT <laughs> YouTube or Twitch channels. Why? Where Nowhere else? else? Well, that goes not, all that of my can, ideas. not that you can find any of us on any other. Where else are course. you funny, Mark? Anyway. I'm wow. really funny here, my friend. Um, <laughs> Pot meat kettle. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, if, if you. I don't know whether I should be offended or you should. I, I mean, I don't, I don't care know. as long as at least two people are offended. <laughs> I just equalize the playing field. That's all I do here. If do you know what I like you... most about you, Lloyd? Don't. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to help us, help us. If not, sit there, watch, sit back, laugh and watch as always. We don't care either way, but it would be nice. If don't clip us. that. Don't. Which, what? which bit? <laughs> which bit? Mark clip, being rude. Don't care. Clip it, clip it, <laughs> clip it now. We got a clip from tonight anyway. That's already clipped and sorted. Have we? At least two from tonight. Oh, well. Right, so onwards with the game, Cry, I think. Um, 
otherwise we're just going to sit all night. And that's tomorrow night is where we're going to sit and ramble. Come and join us then. Um, we'll tell you more at the end. So, Croy, take it away. You are all together with a whisper in your ear, Adric. A whisper from a familiar voice. You're standing on top of a hill, the wind's whipping around you. It's colder than it usually is. It's never really been warm in this place, but it has suddenly got a little bit chillier. You're standing uh, in a mountain pass. You've been climbing up all day. Your legs are weary and tired. You don't really know what time of day it is, but you feel that you have been walking for a very long time and there are still many more miles to cover. As you look down across the plains and you see what appears to be a wall from from the ground um, of, of uh, as described by Ariel, like a thundercloud with lightning occasionally just pew, 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 in the distance. It's miles, miles away. Um, anybody want to give me a survival roll? Estimate its distance. And you're looking at this, seeing this, um, uh, Adric, yeah, it, it's, it, it's either, it's somewhere between a day, a, a day and a bit's walk. Um, it, it, the plains itself, as best as you can tell in this twisted landscape, the darkness, the, the mist and the fog that travel through it, the path that you see just vanishes into to nothing, even though it's very wide where you are. There's at least 30, 35 miles, 40 miles maybe. Um, you're not exactly sure, but Adric, you know it's going to take you a while, particularly uh, when you think about having to get down there on your hands. There's a big issue. There's a big issue about the time and the tiredness that you're all feeling uh, you probably think it's as close as you can be to to a time that you might wish to sleep but not on this hill not here this is too exposed to and i take my spyglass out of my jacket yeah and or my coat and i'm gonna scan the horizon i'm looking for any buildings or any settlements or anything that are nearby yeah and you do um, you do that. Give me a perception roll with advantage as you use this excellent piece of stolen merchandise. There appears to be some stone uh, shapes. You, you, you're not really sure uh, even um, if they're exactly houses as such. As far as you can tell, they look almost like they're carved out. They're just square pillars of stone so anywhere each of them between yeah uh, they're not they don't, there's nothing to gauge scale by um but what you do notice that the the furthest extent of the the hill there is actually a wall that runs along the bottom of this strange shadowy mist fog smoke whatever it is um if there's there anything a, there that we can use to take shelter from the wind, then maybe. Yeah, um, and, and, and certainly as you, yeah, you look, you look down the hillside, and there are numerous places that you could easily get out the wind and in, into in, in the rocks and the stones that are there. There's no problem getting shelter, but you don't see any settlements, you don't see any farms or, or, or houses likes that you've seen already. It looks desolate, but there are plenty of places that you could spy to, to get into. Um, and out of the wind down the hillside. Okay, so I, I kind of point out a, a likely place and I pass the spyglass to, to Adric. I don't see anything out there, mate. Maybe we could take shelter down there. I point out. Yes, <clears throat> it is. I, we have been walking for what feels like an age. Maybe, maybe a bit of rest would do as well. We wouldn't want to face the Queen in an unfit state. I don't think we've got to worry about that just yet. No. Let's head to this, this shelter. See if we can... I can always build us something if need be. 
I just shrug and yeah, push off down the hill or whatever it is. Yeah, you walk down off off the side of the hill, and um, the wind definitely dies down at that point. Um, and you you find this location. It's a shelter of large rocks that form not quite a cave but a, an overhang, and you're you're well protected, resting in its nook. Um, you still hear the wind outside. It's still whistling through the rocks around you, but but you are out of the cold and you're no longer exposed in that way. Um, you look around for for the making of a of a camp, Adric. Um, you find twisted roots, just twisted, barely functioning trees, scrub bushes that are hanging on for survival, and you break a few of the the, the branches off, and um, it's almost dead anyway. Uh, there's there's little moisture left in these, so they'll make a good fire if you want. We think of a good reason not to make a fire. Well, if this queen already knows we're coming, it's not like we're going to catch her off guard, is it? Yeah, I would think it's very difficult to catch a god off guard. Um, well, if anything comes to us looking for trouble, I'll make sure they bloody well find it. That's the spirit. Let's get a file it. <laughs> yeah, you do. It gives very little warmth, despite the fact it looks like it has caught, as you would expect, in much the same way that, that you all are, are cold. The night time really does bring that home, um, and you feel... You are feel we able to cook on the fire, <laughs> even if the not giving that much heat. I mean, is it when you say it's not giving off much heat? Is that like a... less heat than you'd expect from the the size of the the okay. flames? Yeah, it just doesn't look like it's as effective. There's something that just dulls it somewhat. Um. I've got confused with my characters. I thought I had that one that made the house. I haven't got one. Yeah, you know, the dome thing. Tiny hut. Yeah. But it's wrong character. So I can't. I was going to make us a little protection house, but I can't make a protection house. Uh, what? Like a it's, tiny um, hut or an actual house? It's the... Leomund's tiny hut. She's yes, I thought I'd got that, but I haven't. Uh... Does um, Cookie have that? Quite possibly. Um, let's see. Well, one of us had it. Not Kai. The other Kai. Yeah, that other one. The other one. The other one. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, well. I've I don't know why I thought I'd had it. I mean, we haven't noticed it raining here at any point, have we? I was just going to give us some shelter. I'm sure I had it. No, oh, it's not rained. Not rained. Um, but the wind is incessant. Just to have a bit of a roof. Is there any, like, sort of uh, foliage or anything around that you can, we can, I can make a little push to shelter or anything? Only this little scrubby bits of stick that Adric's putting onto the mm. fire as you're talking. Mm. Are we Maybe in the we total ocean or are we against stories. any rocks? No, you're nuked in. You're in under a very large slab of rock that spikes okay. about 30 foot into the air and um, 20 foot either side of you. And there's more rocks like that that are similarly jutting up as if they've just been stomped and smashed up like a broken leg into the air. Yeah, they're just... Yep, the the whole landscape is brutal. Oh dear. Okay, shall we um 
bed down for the night and take take different watches. Yeah, I mean, I can use. I mean, I could probably use mold earth to like rough up a bit of a barrier. If we want to like, I don't know, cover up. Yeah, one side of things, just to kind of make like a rough wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Because that way, at least we'll have a bit of cover, so someone doesn't just sort of see us lounging around under a giant yeah. spike. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you do that, um, and uh, without any trouble at all, you you make this place a little bit more comfortable, as best you can, and you set your watch. So. Watch. <laughs> have watches. It's a it's a timepiece, my good friend. Yeah. Synchronize. Synchronize watches, yeah. people. <laughs> Just yeah. to just just when I say, yeah, when I say three, <laughs> we'll be at twelve or one p.m. <laughs> so you find yourself um, as best you can, unless there's anything else that you want to do, trying to get a, a night's rest, mm. or whatever time of day it is. <clears throat> Right. I take, take first watch. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Oh rude. I'll take I'll take second watch just in case. <laughs> yeah, give me a perception of <laughs> each of you taking each of you taking a, a watch. Oh um, no. in in order of so I would if we'll get another seven. <laughs> oh. Ange. What did you roll? Oh, no, Oh, uh, oh. Uh, it's um, not very good. Your roll may have been unnecessary, Lloyd. Uh, <laughs> well, mine's, didn't mine's for my one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't live that long. <laughs> Fifteen, sorry. I was oh. muted, sorry. Oh, jeez. A T-Rex walks up and eats us all. <laughs> <laughs> chomp, chomp. Yeah, sorry. No, no, T Rex comes up, eats, a eats Ariel, and just leaves, and we wake up <laughs> unaware. <laughs> Where's Ariel gone? Oh, well. <laughs> you just see our hammer slowly dragging it itself off towards bad. the horizon. It could have been worse. Yeah. True. It could have been worse, theoretically worse. Yeah, hang on. Let's not judge before we all roll, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ariel. I mean, I, 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 I can judge. You, Ariel, you're, you're there um, watching, and you're transfixed on these lights, lightning cloud type uh, you, you, what, what you don't notice is um, a, a figure um, appearing next to you oh crap um, a, a figure that you recognise that you immediately feel comfortable you feel warm Um, and says, there is not much time. You must stop her. And then the figure just vanishes back as, as far as, as far as you know, the feeling of warmth that you have disappears and you return that crap back. Is. Oh, death? Uh, that was, as best as you can tell, the closest that you felt Eldath in a very long time. Oh. Crap just turned up and you felt warm and very confused by your motivations up till now. Yeah, that's why I was a bit confused. Um. The time that you turn around, the time that you turn around to see and look, it just caught at the corner of your eye and it just vanishes. You just hear that in your mind, and that's it. Um, I poke Cookie awake and tell her what's just happened. 
and that we have to go really quick tomorrow and we need to get really, really quick because we haven't got much time and Aldo's just told me we haven't got much time. We need to go really quick. Yes, Should we sleep? yes. Get to sleep. Who's next on the watch? You must get some rest. Your mind, as always, is... And uh, she gives you one of our wonderful idioms or... And away she goes. So I roll over and poke whoever's next to me. Who's next to me? That was Kai. No. Kai. Kai. She could have grabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> Kai. Kai. What? Eldath just spoke to me. And he's told, oh, that's very told nice. me. Tell him I said hi and wake me up in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Can you keep it down? We're trying to sleep over here. Yeah. Hi. Everybody, my, everybody, my God just spoke to me and told us that we haven't got much time. But if you're not interested, I'll, I'll hang We're on not. I mean... I mean, given the amount of times you've been... Like, like, since the last time you were asking for advice and he said nothing. Like, he's taken his sweet time to finally get back to you. So you can't yeah. be in too much of a hurry. <laughs> All right, what did? Uh, okay, I'm up. For better or for worse. I, you look at the valley, and you look as best you can at the dim, dim light that's given off by the occasional mote of lightning like glow within the, the, the smoke and this is quite hypnotizing you are able to ascertain just in one flash of light that you see what looks to be a, one of these coming from the coming from the mountainside one of these cloud like ghost figure energy things that you've seen already floating down streets yeah. and down there and you see it just gliding across the plains and it just about gets out of view and it hits into the the side, this this wall, and it just poom, and the light just poom, and emanates out from the position that it was in. Otherwise, you don't see anything. <laughs> Does it look like it's gone through some kind of barrier or has it just disappeared? Mm. Or Yeah, some, well, mm. I mean, you can't really tell, but you just saw its trajectory and then once it went out of sight... Um, yeah. You just saw that after after some time that you were able to perceive to be the distance it travelled. It just boom, that light just just yeah. glowed. There'll be a note to tell the guys when they're all awake. Like, how 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 eager did your god sound? Ariel's. Did sleep. he specify? Yeah. I'm asleep yeah. now. You refuse to talk to me. I've gone to sleep. <laughs> oh, so urgent was it? Oh, you all ignored me. I'm sulking. Tanner's... I'm deeply hurt. <laughs> Wait, I just want to quietly go to everyone. Who's next on watch? Tanner. Uh, Tanner's rolled. Yeah, yeah. I think all those, uh, the, the, those like ghost fog train things, they're hitting some kind of barrier or something off just off the, over the side there. I think that may be their destination where they're all getting drawn to. Wait, maybe that's the fortress? Um, I would guess so. I can't really think of much else to be headed towards. There's a big blind, big flash of light. Now that I look through the spyglass where he's pointing. Yeah, with that roll, um, you, you, you scan along um, and you take your time, you steady your hand, you let your eyes become accustomed, your eye become accustomed to the, to the light. Um, um, and you just take your time and you, you focus um, and you're, you still yourself and you're quiet and you watch and a bit of light catches your eye and you train the telescope over to it and you see it just arcing up from the ground um, towards this, this mm. thing and you follow it um, and with your telescope over the miles it's still a bit fuzzy but you get to see it as it um, it looks like the, the light enters and when it touches, as soon as you see the the, the smoke, the white-looking mist, the smoke hitting this dark cloud, the, the cloud almost separates and, and the, the light just... And it just bulges out of the, the smoke and then back 
in again and the light dissipates down and you're scanning and you see a few of this these things happening um, at different parts and you watch every one as the, the, the same pattern repeats itself the, the mist that is moving at arcs up into and off the ground into this space and it the the, 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 the moat of this light just, just lights up and then dims back down mm. again and um, um, but you also notice uh, you've managed to scan along um, and you notice an archway uh, and you notice that at the bottom of this there's a wall of stone and you take your time to scan along it um, and in between all of these these con square uh, trapezoid cuboid shapes that have been cut from or built or whatever um you actually see uh, a small glimmer of a fire um you, you can't see any anything beyond that um but it's it's just enough to illuminate an archway in the wall that sits just underneath this this layer of cloud or smoke or whatever when wow when these these light things they hit the cloud and you say the cloud parts a bit you can't yep. see anything through it no it's not kind of wall no. i think it might be right much way down there probably an entrance yeah. of some kind well uh i'd be guessing so it's probably good for us to check it out once all these other folk have had their bit of nap yeah I that fella back at the farm he said that it, it changes distance. I think it changes overnight. I think we should make a run for it now. <laughs> <laughs> how far away is it looking how, how far yeah, do you reckon it when... is? <laughs> yeah, so um Adric had said he reckons it's probably about you know, a day, a day and a half long march. I get something that. like that. We'll wait till morning. <laughs> yeah, who's next up on watch? Uh, I'll do it. Adric will get up. Patrick, your keen eyes and and it also is drawn to to this, and you see the same thing that that Kai saw in terms of being watching these things with your your the, the occasional only light thing in the whole rocks. You just see them coming out from the rocks and floating up into this cloud, and then the little phew, the lights just appear and disappear again. It's quite hypnotizing. The the, 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 this pattern repeats itself in no way it, 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 is it like predictable uh, you note that you just know that it just seems to be sometimes it's over that far side sometimes it's over that side um, but you can see that this is clearly uh, just occasionally the, the, the way that the light shines up you get the sense of this whole thing being a ginormous circle um, just as you look from side to side when you see these lights just appearing you catch like the edge of them um, and you you just get the sense that this thing is just one ginormous circle. Um, otherwise, it's it's just so quiet. The only thing to see are these these figures. Just um, your memory as you're watching this idly and and thinking. Your memory goes back to the child that you you lobbed across the street and what they said about being able to capture your your memories. Um, do you take the time to? To, to make a uh, you know to make a, a a piece do you use it to to try and capture mm, something nope uh Wadrick uh Wadrick Wadrick I know I know his 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 yeah. good twin is reasserting itself yeah well he's Wadwick <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Wadwick is uh, his good, polite twin is uh, resurfaced. Uh, Adric, um, is this <laughs> the no whiskey. He, when he's on the watch, he's he's focused. Unlike me, um, he won't 
He won't. He won't um, let his mind wander. He'll uh, rein it into the task at hand, and leaves that for a later thought or job. Yeah. He, he's he's military trained, so he's he's going to keep watch. He's not going to let himself be distracted. Yeah, and nothing yeah. nothing passes your way, um, and your your uh, watch goes without any issue. Yeah, I actually forgot about the touch to thing, but I was going to make one for Kai. Like how he would handle it. Because I think, because, yeah, yeah, with Kai, I was going to do the, um, basically, all, like the memories of all of his, um, his side jobs he did for the Harpers. Because it would have the advantage of the touchstone that if, if it ever came to the point where someone was going to try and interrogate him, he could leave the touchstone somewhere else. So he could have no knowledge. Of the things he'd done, either. For a yeah, you might you might forget them. Yeah, co- logical way of thinking. Yeah, if because yeah. there was a that there was one of the guys hinted that like, oh, if you lost a touchstone because you traded that currency, that you would lose the memories. But like, whether it's true or not, who knows? It's just from what one guy said. Hmm. Yeah. There's there's still time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Moon, are you up for the next one? They can take a watch. I have eyes. Yeah. Why oh. you never hear about anyone get kicked out of the harbors? Pull my hat on over my ear. And again, you take the take the step out, and you're transfixed as well by these beautiful lights that appear. And you watch the connection as the ghost type clouds move and rise up towards this, and you lose sight of them. But then you quickly put together the same pattern that the others have as well as it just the light appears and then dims again um but beyond that the wind uh, the wind begins to to die down and the night becomes relatively still and quiet mm. watching that and finally cookie takes her watch and for the sake of expediency we'll say the same thing happens as well the the, the, the she watches and miss the mystery and she makes probably another another touchstone another totem another bit of memory and pushed into another item that she has um yeah so you're standing there uh, as cookie comes over to you moon and and takes over the watch uh, and after what she thinks to be the time that uh, that you need you're roused the wind has died down but nevertheless it's still cold your fire has expired and gone to the way of ash, but it never really gave out a huge amount of heat to warm you. You find your way back onto the path that you were on, and you stand there looking down across the valley. Tanner, you saw something that nobody else saw. Man, you mentioned it to Kai. <clears throat> When I was having a look around last night, I noticed there's an archway below that cloud. There's a fire down there. I mean, it was a team effort. No, I ain't team. But there's a me, if you look hard enough. Well, I mean, if you look, depending on how you draw your A's, there could be an I in that. Anyway. As I was saying, <laughs> there's an archway down there. <laughs> that might be the fortress. Explain why all those things were being drawn to it. So should we not fuck about and should we just get going? We need to go really quickly. How did you spoke to me last night? I told you that. We need to and told me to go. We got to get there really quick. 
So, Are you sure that then. wasn't a dream? I spoke to Eldridge before, and I know you don't believe me. You mean Yeah. I know you don't believe me. But it was Eldath, so we need to go quick. I mean, it's not that we didn't believe you, it's just that we, we were kind of made uh, jokes about his uh, punctuality in terms of like reaching out to people when, when asked. If you spoke to me every day, then you wouldn't be very... What are you fucking arguing for? Let's just go. Yeah, we go. I'm already going. I'm on. I've walked off. The hill drops down. You walk between the cragged, jagged rocks that jut out as if just smashed from beneath the soil. It gives way as you carry on through the day to. Uh, stranger shapes. Uh, these look like they've been shaped and carved, perhaps. The the stone begins to take on an entirely different look. It merges into, oh yeah, that was a long rest, and you all obviously mark off your long rest without any issue there. You all um, look as this, this change happened. Occasionally, some of these rocks are still smashing out into it, but, but some of them take different forms, different shapes, ge geometric, but still twisted. The The rocks are dark, the the sides are, are cold, but the path continues onwards. Through the rocks, there's no problem. Um, the path is wide. And to your right, you see one of these as you get a bit closer. You watch as the ghost figure smoking just rises up not f too far away from you. Tanner, you get out your your telescope and you look at it and you watch as it rises up out of the out of these stones and, and, and above and high and then into the cloud and you see that same thing you saw last night but just from a bit closer up. In fact much closer up. And as you take your telescope down you realise that you're only about a mile or so away from this. And you look back and you see the hill that you were on, and it still looks like... I mean, just so for once, Fortune might be favouring us. I think it's moved closer. Makes you wonder if we just had a short rest, if it would move the rest of the way over so we didn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> You, I mean, so we're going to make this pretty quickly then, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Hope. Yeah, you're, you're only about another half hour or less away, really. It's not far now, you reckon, as you're looking at you. Yeah, I want to keep moving so that it doesn't move further away as we get closer. That would be mm. really annoying. <laughs> and y'all know oh, it goes in and out. Mm. <laughs> but wait too long, it'll just be moving away from us. <laughs> yeah. So you, oh, yeah, you jog, too far you jog on. And, and these stones begin to to spread out. the The spaces between them now are are much wider. There's there's six, seven, eight foot between each of these pillars. They're, they're none more than six foot tall. Um, some are are only centimeters across. Others meters. Um, there don't seem to be any consistency in terms of size. There doesn't seem to be any geometry applied. There's no there's no rhyme or reason to the patterns. But but you, you you look back again and you see these jagged stones, either something or somebody or something. I, you, but as you walk a little bit further uh, forward, on top of one of these stones, you see an individual. Um, and you also get, you're now within sight of the wall. Um, Tanner, you see it first, obviously, as you're looking ahead. Um, you found your way through these stones. You've made your way through each of the rocks. You've been the focused on, on that arch that you saw last night and again you check and you can see it in front of you now you do no longer need uh your telescope to see it and you can see it in front of you you can also see the the shadow wall in front of you with these lights just appearing every so often the mm.
Mm. The dark shadow um, occasionally just this light appears. Um, you, you don't see it consistently as is the static image, but but you know, were you to think about what it looked, this is the kind of light that you see glowing out of it, of each of these individual points. Um, but for the most part, it's just a, a swirling mass of, of dark shadow smoke. You, you, you don't know what. Um, there's a, a, a wall um, that's maybe 20 or so foot high, uh, an archway stone, ancient looking, um, a door open. You can see the other side of the wall, but you can't see anything through it. It doesn't seem to be any detail or anything through there. Um, and on the one of the rocks, um, you see, you see a figure, mm. um, yeah. and he he observes you. Uh, He has a strange hood uh, around him. His collar made of metal, very angular, and and his face. Um, and he's he's lying on top of one of these these rocks that you see. Um, and as as he, he approach, he's just lying there with his his feet kicking up and down um, at the knees, just bent. He looks tall um, and he waits for you to approach. He's just lying there. Hello? He doesn't say anything. Hello, sir. Can you help us? I go up and touch his leg. What? Is he swinging toe? His ankle? Yeah, he's swinging. He's and he he, he just looks. Work. He puts his hands up and he puts his hands <laughs> behind his his head. Um, and he sort of lifts his head up a bit and, and looks around at you. And says, "Hello." And he says, "Um, well, I, I see you made it. It's uh, about time that you made it here. You've taken a lot of time to get here, haven't you?" Why have you taken so long? And he swings round his feet and his feet, um, knees, and he sits on the stone upright and looks at you. Who are you? We didn't realise you were waiting. My name is Alb. Alb Atleb. I am a keeper of this gate. It's not so like you've had we, a long day. Is this the fortress that we're going to need? To, is this the entrance to the fortress? This is the first circle of memories. This is the way to the fortress that you seek, yes. Who told you we were coming? Those from within the fortress who have been watching you. I look right. at Adric. <clears throat> that explains that, I suppose. Uh, we really need to be more careful who we trust. You... Please advise us, what do we need to do? We just need to get in. You... Are uh, like lights shining. It is only through the protection of this place being so close to the fortress that you have survived. Anywhere else you light like a beacon, you would be dead by now. But you'll find yourself uh, in somewhat safety. Uh, to get in here, uh, a mere trade. Of what? One of your memories, of course. Something that you are willing to give up. Something that I can take. How about the memory of the journey to get here? It's boring <laughs> and dull and you can have it. 
<laughs> yes. I am sure there is still merit. There must be people you have seen. There must be things. I don't seen. care about them. How do no I give Drake. it to you? What? Look, the sooner we meet the memory this of those better. crab dog things. How Drake? What? Stop then I don't making have to remember so the awkward. stupid story that Moon told us. You must take your time and push whatever story, memory that you wish to hold in to something, and that becomes the token that I will accept. Right, and we lose that memory what, what forever. Works. I mean, is that memory gone forever? You will wake up the next day and you will remember nothing of it. Yes, even this better. Is how it works. <laughs> right, what do you work? do with the memories? They are our currency. They are our way to make our way in this world. They are a, a means to recognize those who are here new and those who wish to become stronger, to get her favor, to be more than we are here. And as he says that, he um, he reaches forward and he touches the, the collar uh, around his neck and he just brings his hand down over it. So this is the first circle. How many? And we're going to have to trade something <laughs> every circle? Yeah. There are, will be different tests at, at circles as you go through. Uh, perhaps you will make it. Perhaps you will not. There's nothing the thing is, is those memories are what makes us who we are. They're how we act and how we react. Every memory that we've ever had in life is a learning curve for us as people. I didn't as, learn as anything persons. on this journey. Everything is. Every action that you ever make is because of a, something that happened to you in the past. So giving that up could change part of your personality. I'm fine with that. Right, uh, Moon, you've I mean, got a stone. Some, I mean, me for some stone. folks, yeah. I mean, for some folks, any any change is a positive change. So I wouldn't Moon. worry about it too much. Moon, have you maybe got Edric, a stone? you could maybe Edric, you could give away the memory that made you so impatient, which would mean that you were becoming a more time, patient Ariel. person. Right. Stone yeah. Moon, Moon yeah. Stone. Ask the impatient guy to go through all of his memories, to which is the one that caused him to be impatient. That was probably the one where I met you, I'll be honest, Ariel. Right, Stone, hurry up. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Right, We're spending lots of time. Of so you're giving one of your memories? Yeah, and he holds the stone and he thinks hard and long about the journey taken to get here. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You've... I mean, I would treat it like within a wish spell and not be too vague with your wording. <laughs> with the, within the last 24 yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you suddenly don't remember anything from the day you were born till now. <laughs> he's just a blank slate. That would be perfect. <laughs> yeah, Adric, you you <laughs> sit down and, and you take the stone that, that the moon hands over to you and um, you begin the process of as you remember the child telling you, and um, just to focus on that, and you recount the story, you replay it in your head, you you go over it. We walked, over it we walked, it. we walked, we walked. Moon tells a terrible story, and we walked, we walked. We slept in a cave, Ariel lost the plot, and we walked, and then we're here. Um, and, and yeah, so that's 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 that. Uh, what else? Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Um, do we all have like to give a memory? Yeah, I'd like to do the memory of the previous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just go to like, so what are we, what, so what are we doing here again? <laughs> do we all have Who to give you? a memory? This is currency. This is the way that you are passing the greater the memory of value to you and yourself than the faster this journey will be.
So giving away ridiculously stupid memories will slow our trip down. And I forgot that because it's now in the stone. Ha ha! <laughs> you haven't you... slept yet, so you when still you... have the memory. I forgot that wow. too, Ariel. I mean, I mean, to be fair, if it's going to be one of those sort of like uh, everyone moves at the pace of the slowest person, we should all just <laughs> give the same memory. Just like, <laughs> let's just all forget ever being here and just go on to the next bit. You are a group together bound by your own fates and your own memories. It is together that you must travel. Uh, I will accept one from each of you and their value will be determined the next day. You will find your way through the here. There you go. That's mine. I so go and sit um, and get a don't you do it on a stone, do we? And I... It could be a crystal or a stone or, or a thing, anything that you're in your possession. An object of interest. Yeah. <clears throat> I get a stone that I'd picked up on my travels from a, uh, a river, a sacred river of Eldaf. Mm. And I sit and place a memory of when I was 15 and I was sat by a... a River on my own. And a traveller came by one day and talked of the lands that were beyond anything I'd travelled to before. It made me realise that there was more to life than the what I, I had so far. In the monastery, was it monastery? I can't remember. It's that long ago, four years ago. Oh, you can't remember at all now. <laughs> it won't matter. <laughs> but I know that I like this traveller, and he was and sat and spoke for. You want to forget about him? I mean, it's got to be an important memory. It's not worth doing. Yeah, he wasn't that attractive. <laughs> um, his name was. Frederick. Wadwick. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, Tanner is carrying a small stone with a hole in the centre, apparently. <laughs> um, so he takes that out of his pocket and a, and a wicked little smile comes across his face. Uh-oh. <clears throat> and he looks oh, at no. Eric and he went... Told you about my third wife before, and I. <laughs> she was a fucking nightmare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for this guy already. <laughs> <laughs> and he concentrates. <laughs> it's been quite funny. The guy fishes out a coin from his purse, and it's like, oh, we already have the other half of that. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got the complete set now. <laughs> and he he hands that over with an evil little glint in his yeah, eye. So you, yeah, you sit down and you, you think on that. It takes about half an hour for each of you to, to, to go through this process. And So, yeah, you do that. Um, Moon? Moon has been sitting here for quite some time. And she... Stands up, walks over to the man, and hands over his spear. Spear? Stories make us who we are, and this is my story. This is my memory. And in this place, this is how I pass. And he leaves the spare there and walks away. Mm. Hmm. Okay. 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 
Let's try to work something out. Yeah, I think it probably would be something some like yeah, like one of his childhood, like some of his childhood mem, like a childhood memory from Lantern. I think. Um, I think he's trying to like tailor it to something, um, given the kind of person he is. I think he, he's yeah, it'll be yeah, like a, like a particularly happy childhood memory that would make him want to go home. Like just out of like homesickness or whatever, like what like a bit, it's a bit like what Tanner was kind of doing, but like in a sort of a bit more of a methodical way of doing it, like cutting a string that's attaching him to home. So like maybe one of the days where like he would go down to the the, the beaches with his little gnomish friends, and they'd go play adventures along the the coast. Because they wouldn't have known about the the wider world at that point. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he takes each of those as you walk up. I say it roughly at the same time. Um. And he he looks at each of you and and says, "Yes, yes, these will do very nicely. I must get these to her." Very soon, I uh, I think some of these particularly companionship, friendship, physical prowess, all of these things that you are willing to give up, may be returned to you when you reach her. If you are sincere, don't you worry wish, about that. If you are sincere in your wish to forget these things, then of course that too can be arranged, but pass now through the gate and you will be able to enter into the first circle of memories. Never answer my question. How many circles are there? There are some who will travel near infinity before they will reach their preferred destination. But there are those like you. And he looks down at the gifts that he's laid out on the stone in front of him. There are those like you who We'll have a faster time. Do not tarry at the remaining gates that you find, and your journey will be swift. God, I'm going to put this whole conversation in another stone for another <laughs> memory. Yeah, it's like, for you, only 49 gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get through in three, gates. but um, Aldrich's got 754 to get through. <laughs> yeah. He didn't lead the most exciting. I'm, I'm hoping that by different challenges, we have to do different things. Otherwise, I think at some point, we're going to probably start running out of memories. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for anyone who's got like a lifespan of less than like 30 years. There are some who spend <laughs> longer in this world that need to think and forget about all that they have done and start in you. That is a choice if you wish. It seems to me if you are not willing to give up Memories of value, you are going to be stuck here quite some time. I agree. I drop down and walk through the archway. Yep. Follow him. Adric follows. Yeah. You don't want to get them to get lost on their own. Adric bounces off an invisible door because <laughs> he's not allowed in. Insufficient <laughs> <laughs> funds. No, thank you. <laughs> I look at the guy, uh, give him a quick wink and went, say, <laughs> Keep the fucking change. <laughs> I mean, I, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm waiting for the. If there is a point later on where we get the memories back, and he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it back. I don't want it. Take 
thing is, he has to relive every moment right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> no, the worst bit is, is now he's lost that memory. He's going to bump into that woman again, and he's going to be like, yeah. "Oh, yeah." Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> And then afterwards, after he's learned his mistake, he'll get the memories back, being like, oh, this was completely avoidable. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's just a story of Teller's life, I think. <laughs> you walk through the, the tunnel, and the stone quickly gives way to what looks to be nothing more than dark shadow shifting around you, a circular tunnel just drifting off into the distance barely lit barely anything that you can see other than this swirling mist around your uh, it's stone beneath your feet it looks like it could be wet the temperature so cold and you begin to step down and you feel like this tunnel well, you don't know how long you'll be in here. You don't know how long you'll have to keep walking to see the next. And as you look out, occasionally through the mist that swirls around you, forming this tunnel, you see a small piece of light floating past faster than you, drifting in the same direction. Moon, you look up and see you see a boat going past you. You see a boat in waves just sailing across and through the mist. You see a room where Gold is talked about, deals being done. Each time you look up and see one of these, you see something that you recognize from the times that you've touched. The stories that are now there, they are moving through this mist. The memories themselves take form as they travel. The rest of you see these lights just moving I don't think anybody else is actually engaged with any of them apart from Moon. Uh, we've got a job to do. You feel tired, you feel <laughs> fatigued, you're... The f... Adric, you notice it particularly, the, the sustenance that you had um, from the meals the night before is, is no longer in your, your belly. You start to feel empty, hungry. You continue. Has anybody got anything to eat? Who are you? Is that meant to be funny? <laughs> I have no idea either. <laughs> no, who is he? I think it's Wadwick. <laughs> what? <laughs> and as... As you <laughs> as you walk forward, um, the the tunnel in the mist, you see uh, like a, a sort of ah, fresco, a carving, um, um, and it's it's up ahead in front of you. It's it's blocking the path, um, and as you approach it, the heads shift, and their eyes focus on you. Ooh. And that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Ooh. And we'll be back again in two weeks to find out what that's all about. Wow. <laughs> what were they were like? They were carvings of like faces. Yeah. yeah, people in the stones and yeah, their heads turn around and look at you. That's not creepy at all. Nope. <laughs> Well, it's all right. We can put that memory in a stone to get through the next gate. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I think Tanner's just told us all what our next me- our next memory stone's going to be. Yeah, no, I've, no, I think I think I would love it if the next challenge is you have to forget one of your one of your friends or something. In this yeah. <laughs> well, the next memory is that we are going to forget who Aldrich is. Every single one of us. <laughs> okay. Adric, not including Aldrich. Al- include, including Adric. Adric. Would work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Including always... Adric. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh Ad, you know okay, what? Lovely. Adric's a really nice guy, and I think you're abusing him just because I'm in control. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's just, a nice guy. He's just he's being rude. controlled by you. He's such a gentle how, little buttercup. How is he rude? He's so rude. What, because he's trying to get I mean, out of the mission? I mean, oh, you, can, oh you can't God. just watch the VODs yourself. <laughs> he's a very rude man. And if you, if chat, if you think Adric's rude, you can fuck off too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> chat, chat's voluntarily forgotten Adric as well. Give you a rate, he's just gone down to zero now. Right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much Kyle, for running that game. Always a pleasure, as always. Um, thank you for playing. We'll be back in two weeks uh, to continue this. Uh, but hopefully we'll still have some memories of what's gone on. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, just before we go, quick shout out for tomorrow. Um, if you're watching this on the YouTube, you bloody well missed it. What a stupid idiot you are. Um, you should have been on our you Twitch. You can. You can kind of click in the link kind of above-ish on one of the other. Anyway, it's there on YouTube too. By this. By yes, this but... Anyway. Yes, you may be able to watch the Q&A, but you will have missed the giveaway that we're doing. Oh, there is That's that. what I was going to do. So tomorrow, we're doing a Q&A at 8pm GMT BST. Um, we will be here with a selection of us discussing what gets you interested into new TTPRGs and which TTRPGs you would look at for doing sort of first thing. I think that's the general question, in it, Kadari? Don't look at me, mate. I'm not there. <laughs> Here's the question for us. Uh, so we'll be talking about new TTRPGs. And we, during the period of the show, we will be doing a giveaway. Um, so if you want to be in on it, make sure you're there. We're not going to tell you what it is until you're there. That way, you, you know, if, if you can't make it, then you don't know what you've lost out on. <laughs> um, the rest of you have no idea how disappointed you're going to be when you win. <laughs> yep. It's a pencil. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so make sure you're tuning for that. Otherwise, we'll be back on Friday here on uh, Twitch doing oh, carbon. Carbon, 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 um, um, with our beautiful GM strain. Um, and then next Saturday, we'll be back to Mutants and Masterminds. Um, for anyone who is interested, like I said, there is a we in our Tuesday TTRPG club. We have got one space available for this week's Agents of Concordia game. If anyone would like to join in, if you can't make it this week, but maybe you can make it another week, just go, just join. Honestly, just, just jump in. If you see us in the chat room for Tuesday TTRPG, you can just join us, even if you just want to listen to us. Um, you don't have to talk to us. We won't bother you. Um, or if you do want to get involved, just join. Don't worry about it. We'll let you in. Um, we'll let Angie in, so anyone's welcome. Uh, that's for calling me Ad Aldrich. Aldrich. Um, Aldrich. <laughs> he called himself Wadwick, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Do I didn't. <laughs> um, that wasn't a thing. Otherwise, uh, yeah. We wish you all a great weekend. Um, and we will see you when we see you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as, as always, guys, as soon as we're gone, we'll be raiding someone. So make sure you spam the love. And um, we will see you again soon. Good Tell night. them what week says hi. What week says hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Bye. Bye.